Okay, so I'm back to drinking decaf because I was just getting too wired and too strung out. Anyway, let's have a sip and see. Yeah, definitely good. So Cafe Society, Half Moon Bay. Okay, so I am here at Pescadero and I kind of looked around a little bit. Mark is down on the beach, so I'm gonna go join him down there. Tide's coming in, so I uh, figure I'll do a quick painting down there. We can check in and see how things are going for him. And then maybe later come up and uh, come up on the cliffs and do a wave study. So Mark is here, he's all set up. He got set up before I did. So uh, let's go over and uh, take a look and see how he's doing. What's your composition today here? What are you trying, what's your goal? Uh, I, am, I am a newbie at this, so I kind of give myself permission to suck. <laughs> and when I do that, it's a lot of fun. So I'm trying to, I'm really trying to capture the color of the ocean today. Okay, Especially cool. Especially as it goes into the distance, see if I can really get depth and try to change uh, you know, the tone and the saturation of the color. So I'm still kind of, I still feel like I'm still learning, learning color theory. I'm still pretty new at this. So. All right, well, looking good so far. We'll come back and uh, check in with you in a little bit. Okay, so my usual setup here, and I've got the easel angled so that I don't have a lot of, you know, direct light on the panel. It's pretty bright out here. Okay, so I'm gonna get started and uh, we'll check in in a few minutes. Okay, so this is about a, maybe a five minute sketch at most. And I know it looks like a mess, but we got waves here, here, there's rocks right out here. scrubbed in the color it literally took about 10 minutes and uh, the reason I'm working fast is because I'm finding that the more randomity you get into your waves the better so I'm really just kind of just freeform sketch them out paint it in quickly and then stand back and kind of see what I've got and maybe and then uh, and, but try to leave as much of that randomity and craziness or chaos or whatever you want to call it in the painting so uh, I'll show you what I got right now. I'm like dividing things into several different shapes. I got the waves and then the rocks and the sky. And like I said, I'm kind of liking what's going on on these waves because they are pretty random. Okay, so the tide is coming in quickly. So I'm gonna have to move my easel, which is not a big deal, but uh, it's easy to sort of lose track of what the ocean's doing while you're painting. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna move it. Okay, so Mark's all done, so I'm gonna go over and take a look. I didn't realize how much white I would use to paint the ocean. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think it's gonna be blue and green and brown and that's it, but there's actually, a, I think I'm just seeing more and more of that you're actually painting the reflection on the water, which, uh, which takes me a while to kind of register that to really feel like, oh, that's what I'm painting, not the water itself, but the reflection on the water. Right, right. And, um, and then there's a little bit, just it's real subtle, but a little bit of pink, purple, light purple in that, but uh, it felt good to kind of add, I don't know, kind of exaggerate some color in there too, and uh, kind of fun. And, and then also kind of starting to work with reflections of the rocks, which I'd never thought of before too. Again, I would just assume I'm painting water, but I'm actually painting reflections. Finished just in time, because like, look at this water. It's like, <laughs> you didn't get wet yet though. Hope, but no. look at that water line, it's right there. Yeah, we're right there. All right, cool, well, I guess we'll, uh, you know, pack out of here. Okay, so yeah, the tide's coming in pretty quickly, but we'll take, uh, we'll take a look at this. A lot of chaos and randomity in the waves, so I'm happy with that, uh, but as usual, we'll just get it home, put it in the frame, see what it looks like.
Okay, so here's what I came up with. And Mark was making some good points about reflections. With water, it's like you've got two things going on. You've got uh, the darker areas where um, you're actually seeing into the water and the color of the water itself. And then, uh, then you've got surface areas, like these flat areas here, which are actually reflecting uh, the things around them. Like for example, it's, this is reflecting the sky. It's also reflecting the white of the uh, white water there. Um, so the reflections are what is going to make your painting look like the water is actually wet. Uh, the only other thing I'd say here is the, um, I do have a lot of randomity in the waves, which I like, but the top of this wave and the bottom of the rocks here, that's too, they're too similar. So I'll come in and I'll um, probably change this wave, maybe put a peak here, or I don't know, I'll just kind of experiment with it until I get it right. But other than that, uh, you know, I think it's pretty close. So I really enjoy getting out and painting with other painters. Um, it's uh, nice to have the companionship, but it's also interesting to see the way they approach their painting. For example, what sort of composition they choose and maybe some of the things they notice in the subject matter that you don't. Um, so it was really great getting out and painting with Mark today. I'll leave his uh, Instagram information in the description below. And uh, other than that, as usual guys, thanks for hanging out and I will see you in the next video.